Healthcare workers in the country have been reported to be in the frontline defense in the fight against COVID-19. However, as days turn into months in the pandemic that seem not to be ending just yet, some have lost their lives dispensing their duties to Kenyans. While thanking the health workers, health CAS Dr. Masi Mongangi revealed that 16 of them have succumbed so far, while 945 others have been infected with COVID-19 in the past six months. And therefore, the idea that all these issues should afflict our healthcare workers makes it very central to ensure that their safety is attended to, particularly when they're dealing with this pandemic. Some health workers have unfortunately been exposed to other infections, including hepatitis B, tuberculosis, and HIV in line of duty. However, the ministry assured that the training of health workers was ongoing in a bid to mitigate the risks faced. And so as government, we continue to support them. During this COVID pandemic, we continue to ensure that they are adequately trained, that they have the adequate and timely supply of PPEs, and that their mental well-being is taken care of by providing psychosocial support services for them. In terms of various medical interventions and drugs that could be used to cure COVID-19, the Ministry of Health Director General Dr. Patrick Amoth says there is no specific pharmaceutical intervention that can cure COVID-19. However, the global vaccine development is in its last stage. Of significance, of course, is also the work that is being done in vaccine development. As at today, there are five vaccine candidates that are in phase three trial, which is the final phase of any trial on vaccine development with uh, very good promising results, including the Oxford AstraZeneca va vaccine, the Moderna vaccine, the Chinese vaccine, and two, and, uh, and two others. Kenya is among countries under the WHO that are taking part in the COVID-19 vaccine development. This is to ensure that the rest of the world consolidate together to ensure that we develop one common vaccine develop a platform of delivery. Remember, even if you get the vaccine, it will not be possible to immunize all the 6.5 billion population of the world in one go. In what seems to be a sustained decline in COVID-19 cases in the country, Kenya in the last 24 hours recorded 183 cases of the virus, pushing the national tally to 36,576 since the first case was reported in March. <laughs> Recoveries from the disease increased to 23,611 after 82 patients were declared free of the disease, including 33 on home-based care. The significant reduction in COVID-19 cases in the country has been largely attributed to the government's low testing capacity. Dena Rose, K24.